Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video we are going to open up some more, some more Wizards of the Coast booster packs, plus some more of those legendary treasures, and then I'm going to give away a few codes as well. I don't think I've given these away. So while I'm talking with you guys for a minute, um, I've had a lot of questions come through lately about this stuff, these what this says in the background, and <laughs> let me go over it again. Sorry, I always assume that the people that are watching this are the same people that have always watched it, but I forget that you know over ha over half of my viewers are actually people who are not subscribed, and it just comes directly from the YouTube feed. So uh, this code right here, uh, you can use it on any three of these sites. This first site, trollandtoad.com. Uh, if you go there, trollandtoad.com. I've also have these linked down in the description, so you can just click on it. But pretty much, uh, they have all kinds of sealed product. Um, single cards, anything, and if you, as long as you buy it from actually Troll and Toad as the merchant, then that 5% will come off your entire order. It doesn't come off merchants anymore, maybe some some items, but uh, for the most part, it's just Troll and Toad stuff. Uh, next up, Black Card X. Uh, what that is, they actually sell a lot of supplies, and they're a really good price. Let me show you what they look like. We're going to put up one of these packs. So this is what it looks like. It is, well, no, that's not the one. That's actually a card saver. It looks like this, but it's actually better quality. Card saver is the, the brand that you normally see on eBay, but uh, these are, they're, they're just semi rigid Card saver is a CBG brand. Um, you can't actually use that name and sell them. But they're semi rigid and you store packs in them, and then you can also use them for uh, shipping cards or grading submissions. So this is, they look like this, and they have a little bit better corners, and they're actually uh, a lot better on the, the quality of the plastic than the ones that you just saw. And then the last one, Pokey Dreamer. You can buy these custom acrylic cases, like displays for your wall. You can kind of see it there. Uh, he's got these little things that can go in the corner. But you can do it for PSA cards, packs. You can do multiple cards in one little display. And so I, I like all three of these products, and that's why I you know endorse them. One, you know, if you use that code, I get a little bit of a kickback myself. But you know all of all of these sites, they sell good products and they sell um, for the most part quality stuff. I know with Troll and Toad, a lot of people criticize them for the condition, but I tell you what, they're, they're pretty much better than a regular eBay near mint by this point, and their customer service is great. Plus, most of the time their prices just beat everyone's prices unless it's on the higher end stuff, and then it's really getting into uh, a lot closer to being uh, accurate for what we remember what the near mint used to be like the mint, and you know now it's you know kind of closer to a regular near mint. So I'm going to give away a few more codes, and then that will be it for this video, the ones that I give away. Still got more to give away. I'm still digging into that pile. Uh, next up, I got a purchase from, his name is Jay. He says, I'm a big fan of your, uh, your channel. Thank you, Rusty. Uh, it was this right here. This isn't actually minus for a friend of mine, and I didn't know it was uh, being sent to me at first because it just said, you know, to me. And... Um, normally there's a for this particular person in the the name for the title, but it wasn't there. So I reached out to Jay and I was like, "Hey man, well what's up with this Dragonite?" And he thought that I was saying, you know, it was damaged or something happened to it. But no, it looks great. The card looks great. This is one of the, it's one of the iconic artworks for Dragonite from the Game Boy, the Japanese Game Boy side. I don't think we got this one on the English side. It'd be cool if we did get a reprint of this one. But as it stands now, we don't have this. And uh, it's a really cool card. All right, now we're going to move into the booster packs that we're going to open up. And the first set of packs we're going to open up is actually for Legendary Treasures. Got another set of four packs. Let's see. This is for Josh F. And he says, love your channel. I'm making a buying, buying experience video with these packs on my YouTube at Heatwave Pokemon Collectibles. Thanks for being an inspiration to content creators and a restaurant pool would rock. So I appreciate that. My hands felt a little shaky, man. I was just unloading two double pallets into the back of my truck. I met a, I met the freight guy. I finally got the uh, basketball court concrete set, so now I've got the basketball goals to put in. And I went ahead and bought good ones. And let's just say, well, I mean, they do. They literally weigh like over 800 pounds a piece. It's like 1,700 and some odd pounds for the pair of them plus you know all the packaging and stuff and it was a bit to move around with you know just myself but because they, they were really long but uh, I did actually did a little bit of a workout last night did some push-ups and different things and I think my muscles are just a little sore I'm not used to working out other than playing basketball 
and uh, cause it might work it out in like five minutes. I mean, this is, it's not like you know people's standard workout. Let me put this coat off to the side. Now, what did we say? We pulled two off the back, so we'll do it like that. We'll do crushing hammer. You got the Gothita T pig. There's Altaria, and what he said, he wanted a Reshiram. Ooh, oh man, you got one of the good hollows. A really cool artwork from Mewtwo, so we're definitely gonna sleeve that one up. And then we got a rare Miss Magius. Now, the last time we got a hollow, we also we got an EX in this spot right here. So it looks like um, you don't always have that. Then your hollow RC collection card is Growlithe. Look at that, beautiful artworks. And then the last one is Elisa. So let me sleeve up these two. We'll look, take a little closer look at this Mewtwo because for me, if this is in nice condition, it would be a card I would want to grade. Yeah, it's not too bad, man. That's a good pull, good first pull. All right, pack number two. what we're gonna get here. Put your coat off to the side. Make sure I don't throw that thing away. Alright, Piplup, Swaddle. Ooh, nice Charmander. Got the Gotharita. Got got I don't even Swadloon. Charmander Trubbish. Got a reverse hollow Piplup. And a rare Toxicroak. Ooh, for your hollow rare or your hollow radiant collection card, you got Superior and then you got another Elisa. I'm still waiting for that Mew. That Mew EX. We haven't seen one of those yet. One, two. And maybe this time, uh, after we get to the reverse hollow spot, I'll pull that last RC card off the back because that one uh, doesn't seem to be the hollow version. Got Vulpix, Oshawott, Wubat. Ooh, got a hollow Koba Lion. Then there's the first RC card. Sleeve up the Koba Lion. Got Glade. And you got a hollow Piplup. Not too bad. I like that Piplup. I'm going to sleeve it up. I don't think I sleeved up the Superior. Alright, we've got one more pack. Still haven't got, got you that Reshiram. Maybe this will be the one. One, two. Carnivine, Shuckle, Swaddle, Mincino, Oshawott, Snivy. There's the RC Dino. Ooh, got another hollow. I tell you what, you've gotten what three hollows, three regular hollows. Is that right? I think that's three regular hollows. Garchomp. Oh, you got a rare Nine Tails, and then for the hollow RC. Oh, you got a Miluetta EX. Now there is a full art version of this Miluetta. I think we pulled that one previously. But nice, man. You did pretty good on your pulls there. There's your Garchomp. I believe this one was really expensive when it came out, just because it was playable. That Dragon Blade, well maybe it was the Mock Cut. One energy discard, special energy attached to the Pokemon, defending Pokemon. 60 damage, that's pretty good. I mean it is stage 2, but back then you gotta remember that the HP and the attacks. You know, you've got the reverse power creep kind of thing going on. So thanks again, who was that again? That was Josh. F and his YouTube was at Heatwave Pokemon Collectibles. I'm kind of interested to see what your uh, your Pokemon buying experience with this is going to be like. All right, next up we have at Elite Four Trading again. So this time he bought a heavy Neo Discovery and a Heo Neo Revelation. And uh, I just noticed I didn't bring the extra packs up here, so. If I do end up pulling a rare from one of these, I'll have to pause it, and then I'll have to run downstairs and go grab them. But here they are. And so for these, again, these should be on a little bit lighter side uh, of the heavy, but, you know, we have up the lightest ones last time, I think, with the Neo Discovery, and it worked out pretty good. Neo Revelation was pretty crazy. Like, it was really close on, it was only like 0.1 grams, you know, off from the lights to the heavies. And that was like almost the whole way through. So we'll do the Revelation last. We'll do the Neo Discovery first. This is what, the, I think it's the third heavy pack we've opened up. Still got all the big cards lurking. He said he wanted to pull an Umbreon and then I think he said a Shining, I think it was Shining Garros, which, you know, those are like the epic pulls from these packs. So I hope that's exactly what he gets. Neo Discovery, I believe we just opened straight through to the back. 
Kabuto, Wooper, Teddy Ursa, Unknown, Centret, Hapip, Zatu, Iglybuff. Here it is. Unknown and Ooh, got a Wobbuffet. This is this is one of the unlimited cards that I still need in a PSA 10. These are just always so tough in the hollow. Looks pretty clean on the left side. Oh, there it is. You can see they're really light. Oh, it kind of goes through on the left side. You couldn't see it before. Sorry if I got a little bit of shaking going on. Let me lift up off of the table. Sometimes when you just free float your hands, it works out better. Back so I got a little white dot there on the left side. The bottom corners actually look pretty clean. I don't see a swirl. Man, it still looks so nice. Not the Umbreon I know he was hoping for. But Waba Fett, he was I think he was that kind of like that Gen 2 Team Rocket Rocket Pokemon just because you know he kind of joined in and everybody always hears the Waba Fett or you know whatever it is. Don't don't make fun of my Waba Fett voice, but um yeah, that's that's what I remember. Every time I see that card, I can't say it like just normal in my head. I'm saying it, you know, like they do, you know, in the show. All right, so here's the next one. We have Neo Revelation. I don't think it's the last card. I think it's like a just a regular type pack deal. So I think I'm gonna pull them off the back, and we're gonna see if we can uh, see like this, stuff like that. Maybe we can get this to where it's gonna be the last card. Okay, so we have Slugma. Goldeen. I've never opened up a Shining from Neo Revelation, if I can, if I, at least that I can recall. And Neo Destiny, I've only opened up like one. I think it's like the Noctowl when I was a kid. Okay, so there's an uncommon Octillery. Jinx. Healing Field. Okay, so now it should be the last card. Skiploom. Quillfish. Here it is. Ooh, the Ampharos. Oh, man. Oh, I want to look at the, the, the hollow on this one. I remember it. Man, it's got this super nice swirl to the left of it. So before we go and, you know, crazy examine this card, Ampharos is one of the toughest cards to grade. Again, just like Blissey. I remember, I think it was Swolpoke who opened one from Neo Rev and then he graded it and he was going to sell it to me for like $7,000 or $5,000 or something like that. And I just kind of went back and forth and I just decided not to go with it. Man, do I regret it. This is one of the toughest cards to grade. I still need it in a PSA 10. And I mean, I don't know what the value is now. I mean, it, I'm, I believe it's went up, but you know, I don't. I'm, it's, it's kind of like a dangerous thing when you haven't actually seen sales of something. But um, yeah, I would gladly pay five thousand dollars for this card nowadays. But um, let's see if we actually can see anything going on here. Oh yeah, there's a little line on the bottom. But wow, that's that's really light. But you can see it kind of going through his knees. It's a super nice swirl. I'll flip it over. Gotta zoom quite a bit, but you can see that little white dot there. Kind of a little bit there. And you know, for those of you who are new to new to the channel, anytime I do this, um, I'm, I'm showing these cards, trying to go more in depth, so people see that you know you. You almost never pull a PSA 10 Watsy Hollow out of the pack anymore, but you know overall these cards are in beautiful condition. The artwork is great. It's a lot of fun opening these things up and just experiencing, you know, seeing you know these cards come out of the old packs. But for the most part, when I'm examining it hard, is so that people can kind of get uh, an idea, or the people who bought these packs can get an idea of the condition of their cards. And even me, I'll miss I'll miss stuff. I remember there was a video a couple days ago, real you know real time while you're watching this, probably about 10 days ago. Where where um, somehow I missed a, a print line completely. It was on a ditto or something like that, and half the comments were about that. Like, man, how'd you miss that? You know that print line. And uh, what you have to understand right now, when I'm looking at this card, you know, as I bring my hand back, that doesn't hit my face. That hits the camera. My face is actually behind this camera, and um, this card is extended out in front of it. So I've still got about 18 inches between my face and the card, so I, I can still miss stuff too. But I will try to point out any little uh, things that I think are minute that could be here and there that would pull away you know, from the card if it was professionally graded. However, congrats man, Ampharos is a big pull. Um, I wish the best of luck to you if you do get this thing graded. I don't think it'll get to 10, but I mean, I would probably say that for every single Ampharos I pulled out of a pack. You know, some have slipped through and maybe yours is one of them. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I will have another one hopefully out 
tomorrow.